Good morning and welcome back to science. I hope you've had a great week learning about the different organ systems. Now this week we're going to focus on one of the organ systems and that's the muscles. So I hope you've had a great couple of days doing that experiment, learning a bit more about the heart um, as a really important muscle in the body. And then today what I'm going to show you which you can either just watch or if you have the ability and the resources you can have a go at yourself. Um, in preparation for today's activity is to show you um, as close as I can through doing some dissection work on a chicken wing what the what the human body on the inside of the arm for example might look a little bit like um, so just as a bit of background um, obviously I can't get a human arm and dissect it for you but what I have got here is um, a chicken wing because Actually, the next closest animal physiologically for the arm would be the bat, but I couldn't find any bats to dissect. So I've got some nice chicken wings from the supermarket. I've got them ready to go in the oven, literally just behind me. Can you see? No, not quite. But I've got them ready to go in the oven, and I've got a couple which I'm going to dissect to show you a bit about how the human arm muscles work together. So sit back and enjoy this uh, watching of a dissection. Let me just check that, that camera angle is better so that you can see the chopping board closely. There we go. What I've got on a chopping board so that I'm not cutting into the work surface and I'm being very careful with a sharp knife here. Sorry, hello, there you are. Um, I've got one ordinary chicken wing and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the skin so that it exposes all the muscles underneath because it's that that we're studying this week and so at the moment it's not possible to see um, any muscles due to, the, due to the skin. So what you, well what I'm going to do is slowly, slowly, slowly peel back, can you see, peel back the um, the skin. Where I need to, I'm going to cut in carefully to separate out gently the skin and the muscle. What I need to avoid doing is cutting into the muscle because then it won't work properly. Just as if any, just as if um, you or I were to tear our muscles, they wouldn't work properly. Um, same with cutting into the muscle tissue of the chicken here. In order to save time, here's one that I've done earlier. So I've peeled back the skin, I've peeled that back, I've peeled back any fat that's surrounding, so that what's left is the actual chicken wing muscles exposed, just like that. If I'm honest, it probably doesn't look as tasty as it did earlier, but it does, however, um, give the chance to show um, a bit the inside of the arm muscles. So, just as on a human arm, on the top here is the uh, tricep muscle, underneath here is the bicep muscle, and so I can make the arm move just by moving the muscles. Now, it's a bit hard doing this stood up. Um, but as you can see, if I move the bicep and the tricep, because muscles always work in pairs, essentially, I can make the chicken wave. So here's where the shoulder bit would be. Here's how the arm looks. And here is the arm moving up and down, just by pulling on the muscles. So that's the first thing to show you about the human arm and, and, and legs and so on. In fact, all muscles work in pairs. One of them contracts and one of them relaxes. In every set of muscles, one is contracting, one is relaxing in order to make movement happen. Now, here is the, um, effectively, the elbow joint on the chicken wing. And so I need to open it up to be able to look inside. So I'm just gonna carefully cut through. I'm gonna cut the tendons around the elbow and bit by bit pull away the muscles. 
I'm being very careful to cut away from myself so I'm working safely. And can you see I'm cutting through not the muscle itself, but all of those bits that work around to hold it together. So tendons, ligaments, they're all of the holding together things to let the muscle and joints hold together. And there we go. Do you see? That's the popping. So can you see that what's there is the end of the bone? Now, um, what you might or might not know so far, and that is where the bone has gone in too. I wonder, with the help of your PowerPoint that I sent you, if you can see where the ligament is, where the cartilage is, and where the bone is. Now, if you were going to do this at home, only if you wanted to, by the way, not at all compulsory, um, certainly I felt a bit squeamish at times doing this, um, you might want to have a feel at the different parts, which parts are rough, which parts are smooth. And so how is it important, therefore, that in all of our bones, that the bones don't just touch together because they would be um, scraping on each other, but instead, you've got the other parts. Um, you've got that fluid that goes inside joints where bones connect up. So in short, that's just a brief introduction to the inside of um, muscle tissue to show how muscles work in pairs. Um, and what I've got for you is a range of different activities, a bit like last, um, a bit like other lessons where there's a choice of things you can do. Um, last week you were researching one of the many different organ systems. This week I've left you a list of different things you can choose from, one of which is if you wanted to, very safely, very carefully, you could do your end dissection, or if you wanted to, you could find a lot of other different creative ways to show how muscles work together. That's all from me. Um, again, I hope you had a great time doing the, um, the experiment around heart rate, and I hope you have a great time this week doing your um, learning about muscles. Have a lovely week.